Um, we're going to talk today about what successful measurement programs have in common, some of the 10 absolutely essential habits. Uh, measurement is in that is uh, done well on a widespread basis. Um, measurement programs often uh, fail for a number of reasons. We're going to talk about how to set yourself up uh, for success when you're trying to put together a measurement program for your organization. We're going to talk about why do we measure. Uh, we're going to discuss the things that make effective measurement so difficult. Why is this something that is uh, such a challenging thing to attempt? And then we'll get into the 10 absolutely essential habits. It plays four key roles in an organization. We want to understand something. We want to understand our products, processes, and services. Uh, find out more about them, what's working, what's not. We want to evaluate them. How are they going? How are things progressing? Are we moving towards the end state of where we need to be? We measure so that we can control things. Um, if we don't, the numbers behind something is very difficult to control something and, and identify what needs to be changed for improvement. And finally, we measure to predict for estimation of resources uh, for um, an end date for something or a delivery date. Uh, we measure so we understand, evaluate, control, and predict when these things are going to happen. So I mean, such a difficult thing to account, accomplish, particularly in the IT world. Uh, when we're talking about software, I mean, solutions, delivery, that type of a thing. Well, some are due to the nature of measurement and the nature of software. The fact of the matter is software development environments are constantly changing. Uh, requirements change, technology changes, the people change, <clears throat> the tools change. So, <clears throat> excuse me, when being target like that, it's very difficult to pin something down and measure it effectively. Sources. So when financial uh, resources start getting tight, measurement is often the first thing that goes. When unfortunately the uh, measurement capability is something that should be the last thing that goes. Uh, measurement expertise, there are a limited number of people who really understand and know how to implement effective measurement programs. So when you don't have those type of folks around, that typically falls to somebody who has that as a secondary capability. Then too, when time gets tight and tough, uh, the, the, the activity that gets dropped off the, the list of things to do first. It has side effects. When you start to measure something, it changes behavior. So if you're doing in a certain way, there are gonna be some unintended consequences and some unintended behaviors. Now those can be positive, but they can also be negative. One of my favorite uh, Dilbert cartoons uh, is comic strips is um, the pointy-haired boss saying he's going to start paying people to identify defects in their own code. And while he, you know, raises his hands and said, "Woohoo! I'm going to go code me a minivan this afternoon." So if you start <laughs> measuring things, you have to be aware of what behavior you're incentivizing by measuring those things, and be careful about that. And that's one of the uh, ten behaviors we're going to be talking about. And there's a lack of measurement standards, met measurement methods, definition of measurement objects. Um, when you don't have standardization of something across an industry, um, it's very difficult to consistently measure something. Uh, when you're in the construction industry, a square foot is a square foot. A pound of concrete is a pound of concrete. It's standardized. But when you're in the software development world, um, requirements are different. Definitions of software size are different. Measuring objects are different. It's just not a standardized industry. So um, not having those in place makes it that much more challenging. Challenges in successful measurement uh, are a result of how an organization approaches measurement. As I said, um, it's often treated as a si sideshow. It's, oh, measurement, sure, it's easy. Anyone can do it. Let's give it to uh, one of the developers or one of our requirements analysts or one of our testers. The secondary responsibility. Um, so somebody that's not trained in, in, the, in the art and science of measurement uh, that and done with it. 
in itself will solve problems. Um, just meant for the sake of measuring them or because the data is available is not uh, a road to success in software measurement. The important part is doing the analysis. The critical aspects of measurement are actually analyzing the data that you have. Uh, if you don't, and if your, your, your measurement program is a static, then your measures become shelfware. You collect them every week, and they sit in a spreadsheet or a database somewhere, and that's it. The Big Bang approach, hey, we want to start a measurement program. Let's do it right, right off the bat. Let's measure everything. Overly ambitious programs can easily collapse because you're trying to change the culture of an organization through measurement. You're trying to uh, do a whole bunch of new processes and measure a whole bunch of things that have never been done before. is isn't possible to do all at once. You really need to take that in incremental steps. Again, one of the 10 absolutely essential habits we'll be talking about in, in a few minutes. Measurement requirements. Measurement program are no different than requirements for a piece of software. Uh, it's defined if we don't know what we're trying to accomplish with this, uh, then you're not going to know how to set it up right. You're not going to know what you need to be, how to prioritize your activities and, and the things that you measure. Um, so they need to be managed. Requirements for a measurement program need to be managed the same as requirements for a software development effort. The bottoms up are the Jeopardy approach. We have our answers. Now what are our questions? That's when Alex Rebecca is in charge of your measurement program. That means we've got this data. Let's, that's what we're going to measure. Why? Because it's easy to get. Okay, but why then are we, what are we doing with it and why are we collecting it? Well, because it's there, it's easy to get. That's not a successful approach as well. So those are some of the pitfalls that, that uh, make software measurement in an organization uh, sufficiently challenging um, and daunting. So we absolutely essential habits, and we have this, the title of this, uh, 10 Absolutely Essential Habits of a Highly Effective Measurement Program. So it's a little play off of, of Stephen Covey's, you know, you know, seven habits of highly effective people. So what does it mean to have a habit program? Well, habit is an intersection of knowledge, skill, and desire. The what and the why, skill is the how, and the desire is to want, the want to do this. So those three things make habit. And when organizations get into the habit of measurement, these things are all present. They have the knowledge of what it is they're measuring. They have the skill to be able to do that, and they want to do that. Um, these things make measurement a lot more smooth, a lot more ingrained in how we do our business every day. So what does it mean to be effective software measurement program? Well, one criteria could be that it lasts more than three months. I think that's kind of the threshold where start a measurement program and within three months, I think, 75% of them, I've heard uh, that number thrown around, 75% of them uh, fail within three months or they just stop doing it or become ineffective. Uh, it helps you understand where you are. So effective measurement starts you as an organization. So it demonstrates value to the organization. Um, wait, gosh, I have to do my measurement report again. It's that time of the month that we have to go through this again and again and again. I have to get the data and put it in the report and yeah. Speak of value to an organization. That speaks of it's another task I have to do. Here we go again, the drudgery of it. Value 